Hello everybody, so today I am moving house. Here are the humble beginnings. That's an air mattress right now. Need to wait for the real mattress to get in and just a whole bunch of stuff cluttered everywhere. Assembled the bed yesterday and then later this week we're gonna get a desk for this corner and then I'll probably make this a little musical space so that I can practice the violin. So as you guys can see, it's a really simple space but by the end of the week, it should feel a lot more like home. So today I met up with my N2 buddy and it was actually really good. She helped me feel a lot better about starting med school and um, being nervous and things like that. It was also super sweet and gave me these books to borrow for uh, first year. So this is Moore's Anatomy and then this is Netter's Atlas of Human Anatomy. And she said both of these books will be super useful. So at my program, each first year is paired with a second year med student. And I guess they're supposed to be like mentors or just kind of like a buddy to help you through your first year of med school so i met with mine today and then i think we'll be hanging out on saturday again before classes start it was super nice she was so sweet all dressed and ready to go to meet my future classmates i just need to grab my flip-flops since there will be a pool at this barbecue Hey guys, made it home from the barbecue, successfully made small talk for two hours with strangers, and yeah, my future classmates seem really cool, and it was fun meeting them. Tomorrow is orientation, so I'm just gonna have a quick shower and then get ready for bed, probably. So day one of orientation is done. Got my new photo ID. It's just crazy that it's starting so soon. But today was pretty chill. They just told us basically to stay balanced and to stay healthy. And then we did like a drug screen. We got our IDs done. And then we had a little tour of the school. And then tomorrow I think they have some more presentations and they'll talk about like some volunteering opportunities and some research opportunities. This also came in the mail today. It's a new boogie board. So my aunt actually gifted this to me and it's kind of like a whiteboard where you can write anything and then you just push this button to erase it. But mine recently broke so then I emailed the company because basically what was happening is when you push the erase button, the screen wouldn't erase. Um, and then they just sent me a new one for free. So it was super um, exciting that it came in today. just got home from the white coat ceremony I wore this purple dress and then we got a white coat and then the school also gave us this pen light and then we also got these little stethoscopes the whole experience was just super surreal and super exciting because um, I don't know it just reminded me that I've been pursuing this all through my life so far and I'm finally starting medical school and I'm just so excited. Time for a little room update. So got the bed situated and then also got this little paintings up. These are from the paint and sips that I did with my family and right there is my desk. I also forgot to tell you that the school gives us each a laptop. So now that I updated you guys on my room, I just wanted to update you guys on how the weekend went. Actually, let's start with Friday. I had my white coat ceremony. And for those of you who may not be familiar with what that is, basically um, it's kind of like a symbolic step for us to start our journey in medical school. I guess in medicine in general. So then they invite all of our friends friends and family and then we put on a white coat. They were giving us all of this advice. There are two pieces that really stuck with me. So the main piece of advice that stuck with me was all about like what to worry about. Actually starting medical school is kind of scary and overwhelming and a lot of it is because of how much it costs. Like my first semester of tuition was probably almost as much money as I have seen for my whole life. It's a little bit intimidating as far as that goes. And then we also know that we're going to sacrifice not only our money, but a lot of time 
and it's also going to be really stressful. But one of the professors said, um, don't worry about yourself. If you need to worry about anyone, worry about your future patients. For me, that was just really helpful in putting me in the correct state of mind and just realizing that everything I'm doing it's not for myself, it's gonna be to better serve uh, the people I encounter in the future. I don't know, that talk was just really helpful though to kind of focus myself and get ready for classes. The second piece of advice that you guys may find helpful even if you're not going into medical school was actually uh, spoken by the dean of our school. He basically said if there's one practice we can engage in it's self-reflection, so it's putting time aside to think about what went well during the day, what you could have done better, what you're happy that you did, and what you can do to make tomorrow a good day. And then Saturday morning, my parents left me all alone, <laughs> so I just uh, rested. This week has just been such a whirlwind, like getting ready and going through orientation and meeting all these people. And then today, since I'm new to the area, I went with my roommate to start looking for a church to attend and I think that pretty much catches you guys up to speed tomorrow I'm going to be going to school I'm so excited that I can officially say I'm a medical student so I'll be bringing you guys along and thank you for being so supportive a lot of you guys that watch the vlog are my family members and my friends and it just means so much to me that you guys care what's going on in my life. It's also super sweet when you guys comment and I've never met you in person before. It's just like really nice and encouraging. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the vlogs and for your continual support. It means so much to me.